China, which once boasted of a robust defense against the COVID-19 pandemic, is now bearing the brunt of the virus. According to China's National Bureau of Statistics, consumer spending and factory production plunged last month, while growth in infrastructure enterprise that Beijing has been lauding to bolster growth this year also slowed. According to the policy research group PORUG, the headline unemployment rate has zoomed to a two-year high of 6.1% as further proof of the monetary outcome wrought by the country's stringent pandemic protocols. The think tank marked that China's incentive spurs since the pandemic first flared a couple of years ago primarily zeroed in on the supply side. As China faces the vast economic effect of the virus, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang has called for an accelerated pace and ramped up efforts in the implementation of macro policies. Beijing has once again come under a lockdown on May 22 as the pandemic outburst starts again to spread in parts of China. The administrations have imposed a lockdown in the Hayden district along with Shangyong, Fengtai, Shunyi and Fangshang districts. Except for restaurants, delivering services and pharmacies, all indoor entertainment venues, gyms, training institutes and shopping malls have been closed from May 22. According to the National Health Commission report on May 23rd, mainland China reported 869 new coronavirus cases on May 22, of which 187 were symptomatic and 682 were asymptomatic. China's much-publicized zero-COVID policy that the government attributed to bringing the country out of the pandemic recently is collapsing as the quickly rising cases are again forcing mass lockdowns like those observed in 2020.